Hello, I am excited to show you a new feature that we have in our LMS Canvas, which allows you to seamlessly pull in Adobe Express designs and create copies of these designs for students. So in BCSC, all staff and students have access to Adobe Express for Education, which is a premium version of Adobe. So you have lots of access to design tools, projects, websites, video creation tools, student safe AI, lots of materials. And there's really great templates and things already designed in here. But let's say you want to give students some scaffolding for a project. Now it's really easy for you to give them a graphic organizer, website template, flyer template, basically any type of design through this integration with Canvas. It's very similar to the Google integration in Canvas where you can create copies of Google files for students, same principle. So to sign into Adobe, that's really the best thing you need to do first is sign in with Adobe with your BCSC Google credentials, and you'll likely get prompted to select whether it's a personal account or a company or school account. And you'll need to make sure that you select company or school account, otherwise you won't see all the premium features that we have. When you're signed in with your school account, you'll probably see something similar to this, where there's lots of templates and ideas and resources. I could spend hours just showing you all of this and tinkering and playing, but let's, for the sake of time today, I'm going to give my students an assignment and let's say I want them to do this little about me poster. So I go through, I customize this, make this however I would want. I can type out instructions for my students and let's say we're ready to go and set this up. So, so if I go into my Canvas course, so if I go into my Canvas course and pretend like I'm building an assignment, so plus assignment, I already had one here set up as a little bit of scaffolding, but what I'm gonna do is build this assignment. So I can add my assignment name. I can go through and figure out some of my settings. So give it a name, type out my instructions, do whatever I need to do. Instead of usually mine is set to where it's online, I'm gonna select external tool. And then right here where it says external tool, it probably doesn't show anything or just shows, you know, this example.com.launch. What I'm gonna do is click this find button. And Adobe is the first one that pops up. So if I click Adobe, it is going to prompt me to sign in and get grant Adobe permission to my Canvas account likely the first time. And if you wanna move this around the screen so it's easier to see, I like to do that. And I also like to give myself a little bit more real estate to work with. So you can sync if you just made edits and you don't see it quite yet. You organize your things into folders. Good for you, I need to do that. Uh, then you can easily find it there. Otherwise, if I just go to recent, it's super simple for me to find this design. So whenever I find the one I want, I can click it or I can do that three dot button, brings you to the same place. And then I'll do attach a copy for each student. And after I select that, sometimes it takes a minute to think and then it kicks you back to the screen. This is a little deceiving because it almost looks like it didn't do anything. So, but it did. So what I'm gonna do is click select. And I know it's worked because I now see a URL there, whereas otherwise before it was just some guiding text that said example website. So we're good to go. I can go through, add my points, whatever I wanna do, build things out, however. Need to make sure you have a due date as always with Canvas assignments. And then the next thing is if you don't want this to load in a new tab, you technically don't have to. So you can have this to where it loads all in one screen or in a new tab up to you. So I can toggle this off to just give you a preview of what that looks like. So if I click that, all right, I'm gonna do save. And then next thing I'm gonna do is toggle over into the student view so you can see what that looks like on the student side of things. I am signed in with a fake student account right here. So as the student, I'm gonna go in and open my assignment here. And I click that box where it doesn't open a new window because it's gonna do that anyway. You don't want it to open two windows. So it's kind of the benefit there, but really up to you. So as the student, what I see is I can go through, work on this assignment, I've opened it, I can type things out, customize it, I'm in Adobe now. Your students, the first time they do this, they might see a prompt to sign in with their Google account. And if they get that, they'll need to do it. They'll probably grant or authorize permission for Canvas to access this and make sure they do company or school ID. So when I have done that, if I go back to my About Me poster, if you're looking here, it doesn't show any button to submit on this screen. And that's the part where it's a little deceptive. So for students to actually turn this into you by the deadline, otherwise you can't view their work, whenever they're finished on Adobe, if they click the share button, 
then they'll see all their info. You don't want them to directly share it because you'll get an email for every single one. But if I go further down, I'll just do turn into canvas. And then it tells me that I've turned it in. So I'm all finished. I can still view my work, but when that deadline passes, I now have a locked format of this assignment. So as the teacher, I'm gonna to toggle back into my teacher view so you can see what it looks like now that I have a submission. All right, so I'm here. I have a student who's turned it in. Um, it is having some problems. <laughs> Doesn't usually do this, but what I'm gonna do is just launch SpeedGrader. All right, so it's all good to go. I can launch this in a new tab. Um, if I don't want this to launch in a new tab, I can change my settings again, because I don't technically have to have this open there. It's a little deceptive too. Even if I click that link right there, it's just gonna show me the student's work. So I can see the student's work, what he typed or didn't type. Um, and if I wanna add comments, this is only comments in Adobe, I can do that. Otherwise, I'm in Canvas SpeedGrader, so I can put points here. If I wanted to attach a rubric, that's a little bit of a different process, but I could do that. I can type it out and then just submit. So I don't have to open this in a new window. I can do it all in the screen, give the students some feedback, and then I'm good to go.